All right, what's going on guys? So we're gonna be talking about blocking today. And we're gonna teach you guys the way that Gutter Fighting Secrets teaches our street boxing, our dirty street boxing, and specifically our dirty street blocking. Now for those of you guys who have seen the uh, core commando combatives, we go in in detail to the warrior basic stance. We're not really gonna talk about so much the warrior basic stance and all the minute details here if you want to. Definitely I advise you to go check it out on gutterfightingsecrets.com and check out our core commando combatives program. That's gonna build you up and bring you up, you know, from zero to 10, as far as our warrior basics hand-to-hand -hand combat course. But today I wanna to give you a little sneak peek about what our warrior basic blocking looks like. I mean, this stuff is really solid. It comes from MMA, it comes from boxing, and it comes from street boxing, all right? I do a lot of MMA, so I know this stuff works because I use it all the time. Let's get into it, all right? so. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start out nice and slow with my partner here, and I'm gonna give him round punches to the head, all right? And he's gonna basically block. When he blocks, he's just gonna comb the hair is what we call it, all right? So I'm gonna come this way, and all he's gonna do is take his hand, protect himself with his elbow up here. One, again, two, again, three. All right, so what I'll do now is be very predictable with him and come on the other side. I'll usually do three to five reps, and then I'll give him something, because Mike and I train together, I'll give him something that he's not expecting down here. Now, when we talk about how to block on the street specifically, um, none of this stuff, right? None of this like karate, like messing around, all this stuff. Um, it's always here, and it's compact, right? So I'm going to take my elbow, I'm going to tuck it to my chin, my hand to my chin, and I'm going to take my other elbow, and I'm straight down and crunch into it almost like a uh like a side lat crunch or something like that and i really want you leaning into that shit. so mike's gonna come here and he's gonna lean into it now notice where his hand is it's up here guarding his chin so when i inevitably come here he can guard it right boom boom one and two now mike what i want you to do is leave this hand right here crunch into it and then just stay there one, and notice his hand is up here, so if I get smart and throw a right, he's also protected, right? One of the more likely scenarios is that you're gonna get knocked out from your chin. That's why they call it, he's got a good chin in boxing, right? So we always want our hand here, even when we're crunching into a body shot, we keep it up here so that the guy's right hand come, can't come and hit us in our chin. So that's what it's gonna look like is body shot, boom, body shot, boom, 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 boom. All right. And notice he's really getting used to this now. He's getting used to what a real street fight looks like. It's not all of this like, you know, like you see a lot of bullshit out there with self-defense, guys. You see a lot of like, like give me like a karate karate uh, block or something. Like just straight up like that. Right. All right. That's cool. Like you see that. But what happens when the right comes over top, right? And that's inevitably what's going to happen is do that little stupid karate block again is a guy who's a good street fighter is gonna punch you right over the top of your nose and it's gonna be lights out. So instead, he's coming here, body shot, and he's ready to block, right? Ba -ba. And we just, it's always, every single time, you wanna anticipate that the guy's not gonna throw one shot. He's gonna throw two or three. And that's why when we train these blocking drills, it's very deliberately simple. to get us used to doing the right movements. There's not a lot of stuff to it, guys. What we teach is deliberately, stupidly simple so that you have a chance to absorb the movements and train a limited amount of patterns so that your body can respond to it. When the heat of the moment comes, it's not, oh, you know, let me do this. It's my fucking adrenaline is running here. My head is empty. I'm fa fa facing and fighting a big ass dude. Like, if I gotta fight Mike over, Mike, fight Mike over here, my adrenaline is gonna be shit, this guy's built like a fucking brick house, like, what am I gonna do? I need to be able to fall back on, oh shit, I block here, I block here, I block here, I come here. That's like three movements. It's way better than having like a million different patterns where I block here, and then I come here, and then, ha -ha! like all that stupid old school bullshit's not gonna work when it comes down to it. This works, this works. Mike, this works, okay, we know it. This has been working in boxing for fucking centuries. 
This works in MMA every weekend when you watch it on the fucking TV. Right? This works. There's no debating that shelling up works. And that's why we use it. Because it works. Right? So I'm going to come and I'm going to jab. Good. All right, so that's what we're talking about when it comes to block. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget, if you like what you see here, you can get the full fighting programs on gutterfightingsecrets.com under the hand-to-hand -hand combat tab. It's going to take you from 0 to 10 to 100 real quick. Gutterfightingsecrets.com. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense, and we'll see you on the next tutorials. Cheers, mother flowers.